Dyslexia is the UK's most common learning difficulty. It affects as many as one in 10 people. That's an incredible six million people in the UK today. Sadly, for most children, and particularly those from the most disadvantaged communities, there's very little, if any, help at all for them when they're going through their education and school life. The impact of that can be really, really significant, both on their education, but also for their long-term life opportunities. I couldn't read and I needed drop from the teachers. And most of the money help us most of their time because they've got too many things to do. They've got people to your part. I didn't like doing lessons because there were people in there and too many people in there. I don't like too many people. Because I couldn't read or write, I used to feel left out sometimes. Not very many people want to come out and say that they need the help because other people take, like, say, you maybe thick or stupid or whatever. So obviously I, I wasn't, I didn't want people to think that I was stupid. So I'd just go along and just mess about. Well, if we had the right time to support, then I could have been in a more stable job and I could have got further now than I have been. Dyslexia Action, as the UK's largest provider of specialist support and help for children, young people and adults, helps as many as 11,000 people every year. It is a significant amount of people, but sadly, we are very aware that still there are many, many more people we can help. And that's why we've come to the Nominet Foundation, and that's why we're talking to you today through this video to ask you if you can give us more support. We recognise that by developing support in an online space and developing online methods of learning and accessing information and support will give us a step change in the numbers of people we can help. I'd like to have um, a f an app for a phone or an iPod or something that would let me learn in my own way, my own unique style, whenever I want to learn it and basically however I want to learn it without other people being around me. I'd first to learn, um, learn at night time because I like to get up um, late and go out and then do it at night time. I feel more relaxed learning at home online. Um, obviously, I could, so you could do it in your bedroom or something like that, so it's just you. If we get this right and work with young people, which is what we want to do, to get their input, get their support and help us inform how we develop this programme, we'll develop something which meets their needs and meets the needs of our future beneficiaries. Because young people know exactly what they want Young people want to learn in their own unique way. So basically, if you ask young people, you're going to get more understanding of what young people want. It's good to be listened to. Give young people the right kind of help. Together we can make learning fun. Fund this app and help millions.